What we're looking at today was born on a TV show, but is now being introduced into the battlefield for real. The Ripsaw M5 is a new robot tank that's been designed to support the US Army as an autonomous wingman. It's a glimpse into the future, but also very much the present when it comes to the development of lethal technology. Let's take a closer look. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. In 2019, a new robotic tank designed to operate as a wingman was showcased at the annual association of the US Army conference. The Ripsaw M5 is now developed by Textron Systems and is based on the original Ripsaw one-man tracked vehicle. This was developed by brothers Mike and Jeff Howe, who starred in the reality TV series How and How Tech. This robotic combat vehicle is built based on the brothers' expertise in building purpose-built ground vehicles like EV-3F1, EV-3F2, and EV-3F4. Textron Systems bought How and How in 2018. A year later, after making improvements, the vehicle was ready to be shown to the public. It has been transformed into a heavily armed combat drone equipped with an autocannon and two drones of its own. The purpose of such a vehicle is that it will operate alongside US Army tanks and armored vehicles, doing dangerous jobs to keep humans out of harm's way. The unveiling in 2019 was of the fifth generation of the vehicle. In the background, the Army had been testing the Ripsaw from 2010 to 2017, but never actually bought numbers of the tank constituting a significant order. But that looks set to change. Textron Systems and How and How delivered the fourth Ripsaw M5 vehicle to the US Army in 2022 for the support of the Army's robotic combat vehicle medium program. The vehicle is the fourth and final RCVM prototype out of eight total RCV prototypes that the US Army will use in soldier touchpoint assessments. Using these prototypes, work has begun to integrate autonomy into the systems, pair them with their manned control vehicles, and then move on to shakeout testing to prepare the vehicles for a soldier operational experiment. Decisions about the full-scale acquisition of the Ripsaw are expected to be made following the Phase 3 cycle which was planned for 2026. Based on the design and technicalities of Howe and Howe's EV-3 F4, the Ripsaw vehicle has been modified for combat applications. It's one of the world's fastest dual-tracked vehicles serving the luxury segment market. The exoskeleton of the small M5 tank is a rigidly welded tubular structure based on a patented high-performance suspension. The tank comes in a light class and a medium class form, weighing 16,500 pounds and 23,200 pounds respectively. The light chassis can hit speeds of 45 miles per hour on paced surfaces and carry a payload of up to 3,000 pounds. The medium chassis has a road speed maximum of 40 miles per hour with an 8,000 pound payload capacity. The high modularity of the M5 gives it excellent versatility that makes it suitable for several applications. Its open and flat architecture lets the vehicle carry several different payloads for multiple combat applications. The Ripsaw also integrates forward-looking infrared electronics and a turret for carrying weapon systems. On top of this, it also comes fitted with high-intensity lighting systems. Its turret is a Kongsberg MCT-30 protector the same turret installed on the Stryker Dragoon infantry combat vehicle. This is armed with a 30mm MK44 Bushmaster II autocannon, which can also be found on the Stryker Dragoon, AC-130U Spooky gunship, and Zumwalt class destroyers. This state-of-the-art cannon is effective against soft targets, including infantry in defensive positions and trucks, and armored vehicles like the Russian BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle. The MK-44 cannon isn't able to take out tanks, but there is a way the Ripsaw can. It can instead be fitted with the Crows J remote-controlled missile launcher armed with Javelin anti-tank missiles. Alternatively, it can also carry a medium-caliber cannon or anti-aircraft missiles. Further to this, it can also clear mines with a mine plow or rocket-propelled lane-clearing charge, destroy IEDs, and breach obstacles. 
The infrared 360-degree perception technology seen on the M5 gives the unmanned vehicle flexibility during critical missions. The algorithms of the system sensors can work in standard environments, but also in challenging conditions with fog, sun glares, and low visibility. These FLIR systems will also use artificial intelligence to do things like object detection and be able to recognize people from animals to bring a greater sense of understanding to the ripsaw. The tank can operate without producing any noise. Its improvised explosive device defeat roller attached to the tank is equipped with an agile counter mechanism to neutralize identified threats. The Ripsaw can also carry a FLIR Sky Raider unmanned aircraft system. The M5 can be powered by either a 1500 horsepower gasoline engine or a 1000 horsepower diesel engine. The engine works with a hypo automatic transmission system supplied by defense engineers Allison Transmissions. The tank has been built to operate across all kinds of terrains, including desert, snowy, hilly, or uneven surfaces. The vehicle's suspension is supported by a rubberized D-shaped tank track, two sprocket wheels, three return rollers, and five road wheels. The two sprocket wheels support the movement of the track tread. The tank's weight has been designed to be evenly distributed to support the carriage of multiple payloads. As well as being a formidable weapon on its own, the Mini Tank is a mothership for not one but two types of drones. The R80D Sky Raider quadcopter drone is released out of a compartment on the back of the M5. This can carry payloads of up to 4.4 pounds, fly at up to 31 miles per hour, and remain airborne for up to 50 minutes. Further to all this, the Ripsaw can even carry the SUGV unmanned ground vehicle. This drone includes a surveillance turret on a retractable platform, letting it peer from behind bushes and other cover. The SUGV also has a robotic arm for manipulating objects and the ability to even climb stairs, which makes it possible for an M5 vehicle team to scout inside buildings safely. This tankette is given 3,280 feet of range from the launch vehicle for use in more confined spaces while also clearing the path for the mothership unit by dealing with the terrain ahead. The Ripsaw itself features a ramp on the front of the vehicle where a smaller FLIR robot can come out and do reconnaissance on a smaller scale. Another feature the M5 has been designed for is tactical mobility. It features the ability to be deployed by a C-130J transport vehicle and be carried by a CH-47 Chinook heavy lift helicopter. This paves the way for this remote vehicle to support the existing fleet of tanks the Army is able to use. Teaming an M5 with an M2A3 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, for example, could lead to some very effective scenarios. The unmanned drone could drive ahead of the Bradley on its way to a combat zone. This would give security to the manned vehicle and it could trigger any mines or IEDs first. Once at the front line, the M5 could keep enemy forces under observation while the Bradley moved to their flanks, catching them by surprise. If the Bradley is forced to be taken out of action, the M5 can provide covering fire to allow humans to disengage. In recent years, the capabilities of the Ripsaw remote-controlled vehicle have continued to expand with the installation of the Rheinmetall Air Defense Sky Ranger 30mm turret. The Sky Ranger has been optimized for the counter unmanned aerial vehicle threat, which has further been confirmed as an urgent requirement for NATO forces and operations by both sides in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. This turret has been armed with the Erlikon Revolver Cannon model KCE ABM, which fires 30 by 173 mm ammunition, including an air bursting munition, and has been designed to counter UAV and other aerial threats. To counter other threats at longer range, it has a pod of two Stinger Fire and Forget surface-to-air missiles, although other SAM types could be fitted according to requirements, including the MBDA Minstrel, for example. The addition of this turret has demonstrated just how adaptable the Ripsaw could be when it's rolled out to the battlefield. What are your thoughts on the Ripsaw M5? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.